Hey guys, welcome back to another Cooking with Tia episode. Well, in this case, Baking with Tia. Today I am going to show you guys how I make a drunken monkey bread with no yeast required or no rising. Of course, you can use this without alcohol if you do not wish to have that in your monkey bread. Now what you need for the bread is flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, butter, 12 tablespoons, and milk. What you will need for the topping is sugar, cinnamon, ground cinnamon here, brown sugar, light brown sugar, butter, 11 tablespoons, alcohol if you prefer a bourbon, preferably, Doug picked that out, and pure vanilla extract. You'll also need some measuring devices. I have a measuring cup, measuring cups, and measuring spoons, as well as a mixer. This is really helpful for making the dough. All right, so first part to the dough, we're going to mix four and two thirds cup of flour into the large mixing bowl. This is the bowl for my electric mixer. And then add one third cup of granulated sugar. And then we're going to add five teaspoons of the baking powder. And then one teaspoon of salt, and we're going to whisk that all together. And then we're going to cut in 12 tablespoons of cold butter. Make sure you get all of the pieces of the wrapper off the butter before you add it into your bowl. And be careful because when cutting butter where your hands are touching, it does get a little slippery. You can see a couple times, oh, butter slips out of my hand. Just be extra careful when cutting the butter. And this is the part where hopefully you have a stand mixer. Mine is kind of messed up. <laughs> it doesn't like to perform very well, but you want to mix it until you get um, very coarse, like large pieces of crumbly dough. And once that's mixed, then it's time to add the milk. You want a cup and a third cup of milk. Now you want to mix that until your dough becomes clingy and then I forgot to record the part but after it's all mixed together you do want to knead it on the counter. Now my dough didn't turn out exactly right. I think the butter was too cold. But next we are going to make the cinnamon and sugar mix and you're going to use a teaspoon and a half of ground cinnamon and a half a cup of granulated sugar. Now the recipe calls for you to put the cinnamon and sugar mixture into a small bowl and then you will be rolling each monkey dough bread ball individually to coat them but I find it easier to just put it in this big Ziploc baggie and then put all of the monkey dough bread balls in the bag at the same time and shake it all up kind of like a shake and bake chicken thing but with monkey dough bread and cinnamon and sugar. It makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. And now you're just going to tear off pieces of your dough and roll it into a ball. It's about an inch for each ball, but I mean, who honestly ever makes the size just right? Mine are always a little bit bigger than they should be anyway. And when all your monkey dough bread balls are made, you're just going to plop them all into this bag. This is a gallon Ziploc bag, so it does hold all of my monkey dough bread balls. And then I'm going to shake it up like a shake and bake and get these bread dough balls all coated in cinnamon and sugar. Yum! Once you are satisfied with the cinnamon sugar coating, you can take the balls and evenly or somewhat evenly distribute them throughout the abundant pan. 
I hope I mentioned that you need one of these at the beginning. I may not have. <laughs> but if I did, yay me! Look at those. Those are going to be real good. Now for the glaze, you are going to melt 11 tablespoons of butter. Make sure you have a microwave safe bowl to do so. And to the melted butter, you want to add a cup of tightly packed light brown sugar and then mix that all in good and well. So this step is optional, but this is where you would add a tablespoon of bourbon. The recipe did call for two tablespoons, but the time before when I made this, it was a little too strong. So I'm just gonna go with one tablespoon, and then you're also going to add in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And after that's all well and combined, it's time to pour the glaze evenly, or as evenly as possible, over the dough. Doesn't that look so good? And then we're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes until the dough doesn't stick to a toothpick. That's always how I judge my baked goods. And then you want to give it 10 minutes to cool. Mine has had plenty of time to cool. And I've got this serving tray. So I'm nervous to flip it, so I'm going to put the plate upside down over it. And then I still can't really flip it, so I'm going to get my husband to help me flip it. That way the cake stays intact, or the bread. It's like in a cake pan, but it's bread, so... And then you're going to tap it a couple times, and here is the moment of truth. Oh my god, I hope it stays together. <laughs> Whoa, yes! Oh yeah, it worked. Hell yes. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Let me know if you're going to try this recipe, it's super yummy, especially with a little spice of alcohol. Mm.